guys, it's Bridget. Welcome back. So today's video is going to be a brand new kind of soft glam video. I'm going to go over some of my favorite products for days where I want to wear makeup. I want to feel good about myself, but I also can't be bothered to like do a full, full glam face. You know, but I still want to feel good about myself and wear some makeup. So today we're going over some soft glam, easy to use products for days where you're feeling kind of lazy but you still want to look cute. So without any further ado, you guys, let's go ahead and get into it. All right, guys, before we get started, today's video is sponsored by Meebag. So I want to thank them so much for that. It's always a pleasure to work with them. And Meebag has a brand new Sika toner. And it also comes in a mini size. So it's a full size toner here as well as a mini size, which is great for travel. I actually have one of these at my friend's house. So if I ever spend the night, because I do sometimes, I have this with me because I like mist. I don't know how many times on the channel I have to say I love a mist. I love a mist. And this is just really easy to use for those days where I don't want to do my full skincare routine at someone else's house. I can use my toner really, really fast, like a spray, which is great. And it also makes me feel really refreshed. I love the refreshing, wet, ah, soothing feeling of a mist. And this has Sika in it. Now, Sika is an ingredient that's been used for thousands of years. It's a herbal plant that is used for thousands of years to help soothe and calm the skin. Also, Meebag's products are free from sulfates, parabens, phthalates, everything bad like that, and they are cruelty free. And also, something great about this toner is that it's 50% off. All the new arrivals are 50% off right now, which is amazing and a really great deal. So if you want to catch this on sale right now is the time to do it. I'll leave the link at the top of the description box, of course. But who doesn't need something to tone and soothe their skin, get a nice refreshing light mist. Available in two sizes just in case you don't want to go ahead and get the big one. Go ahead and try the second little smaller size here out. And it's also really great for travel, like I said. So thank you me back so much for working with me on today's video. Thank you for being free of sulfates and parabens and everything like that that really damages the skin. And thank you for being cruelty free as well. So I'll leave them to link the top of the description box. Thank you again, me back for working with me. I really believe in your brand. And now let's get into the video. All right, so for soft glam favorites, I kind of want to do these in order of how I do my face. I know some people do their eyes first. I don't. I feel like that's really weird because you're working around what you already did. So I'll do my face first. Let me know if you do your face first, your eyes first in the comment section. But firstly, I use a hydrating primer for my soft glam days. I use a hydrating primer most days anyways, but especially days where I'm like, I'm not going to like coat coat my skin in tons of product. I'm not going to do heavy products on my skin. This is something I really use. This is Laura Mercier Canvas Primer and Hydrating. Mine's almost empty, so I need to get a replacement, like another one of it. But like hydrating primers in general is something I do on my normal days, but mostly like especially on my soft glam days because I want my skin to like breathe a little bit. I know I'm wearing makeup still, but I want a little bit of moisture coming through and I don't want it to look super, super matte. Next up, I chose two different foundations. I chose kind of a more affordable one and a more high-end one. So the one I'm wearing today is the Pretty Fresh Foundation from ColourPop. This is a great, great, it's a great medium coverage foundation. I love the finish of it. I think it looks really nice on the skin. It's not too heavy. It does have great coverage. I'm wearing a little bit extra today just because I need a lot of evening out of my skin tone because I'm a little bit under the weather. So that's a really great option if you want something more affordable that's not going to completely coat your skin and make you look fake but give you great coverage and kind of even out your skin tone. Another one that I chose is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Luminous Foundation because it has a great dewiness and not the most coverage in the world so you can still kind of see your real skin through it. Have some luminous glow to the skin and if you don't powder it's going to be super 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 dewy so I recommend powdering anyways just because I do and I want to wear throughout the day. If I'm wearing like lighter makeup like today I need it to wear throughout the day so I don't have to retouch it up because it's not one of those days where I feel like messing with it so this is a great option if you powder it and it does have like a nice luminosity to the skin even out your skin tone with not too much coverage. All right, next up is for blush. Now, I skip eyeshadow a lot of these days. I put on some white on the lid and a little bit of like a cool tone purple just to cut the crease a little bit for a little bit of eyeshadow today, but I don't really wear too much eyeshadow on these days or it's really, really soft, so I didn't include eyeshadow. But for the rest of the face stuff, I chose blush. Now, I use orange blushes on these light, soft days usually or something very pastel pink, but more, more likely I'm going to wear something orange because it does feel kind of natural, like a little bit of warmth coming through the skin. So this is one of the ColourPop blushes. This one is called Shook to the Coral. It's from their new coral collection. It has like a little bit of sparkle in it which is great because it doesn't make it super matte on the skin so i quite enjoy an orange blush on these days just because it looks way more natural like you can't really you're not really pointing out that i'm wearing blush it's not super super intense either i feel like if i was wearing a mauve you would definitely tell it's on my skin compared to like an orange which could be like a warmth from within kind of glow you know also kind of my last step usually if i ever do this but it does make it look super super more melt into my skin make my foundation look way more like amazing 
the primer oil from Smashbox. Just a drop, one single drop from this on the back of my hand, blotted out with a sponge. And then like when there's barely anything left on the sponge from the oil, tap it onto the foundation, beautiful. I learned that trick from Jacqueline Hill's foundation video like a year ago, and it really does make my makeup melt into my skin. I totally thought this was gonna break down my foundation, but when you really blot it out and make sure there's like barely any oil left on the thing and then you press over your powders and everything, it just makes it all melt together and smush together beautifully and it looks really natural. So if you're ever trying to get your skin to look a little less powdery, a little less cakey, that's a great trick and I'm sure you can use any other oil. This one's really expensive so I would recommend like a dupe. I will leave all these products linked down below as well as a dupe for that oil because it seems really expensive but it's really nice. Next up, freckles. Now I do freckles. I did some today but they're very, very light. I don't know if you can tell. They're very subtle. When I'm wearing light makeup, like I don't do too much of my eyes. I save a lot of time on eyeshadow. I'm wearing lipstick because I'm not wearing lipstick. I do add freckles just because it feels like it matches the kind of lighter moment I'm going for. Light eyeshadow, like I said, no lipstick. And it feels pretty cute to wear some freckles. So right now I'm wearing the Lottie London Freckled Tints. I also have the Freck XL from Freck. So both these products are good freckle products. I would not recommend the ColourPop freckle pins by any means. They're a disaster but these are two different options for Lottie London and Freck if you want to add some fake freckles they are very warm so if you have a very cool toned skin like me you definitely have to blot them out really well and tap over with a sponge to kind of get them to melt into the skin and not look so warm but if you have a warm undertone medium to deeper skin skin complexion I feel like this would work out really well okay so eyeliner I chose a nude eyeliner I use nude liners almost every day you could also use a white too but I feel like white stands out more as being fake so nude eyeliners honestly do feel very natural in the waterline so like I have this nude one in my waterline today I didn't really press it in but as you can tell it makes my waterline look more open and awake and lively which is why I wear nude eyeliner most days this is my absolute favorite one it is the fake awake from Tarte it's absolutely beautiful Pixie has one but their pencil is a little too soft for me NYX has one but it's not my absolute favorites so this is like my absolute favorite favorite nude eyeliner I have a couple other ones I'll leave oh the pretty vulgar one which sometimes you can find at TJ Maxx is also a really good nude liner too but fake awake from Tarte is my absolute favorite it lasts me a year even though I use it consistently like six times a week and it's absolutely amazing nude liners and looks so natural if you are tired like i'm tired and i'm a little under the weather today my waterline naturally right now is pretty red and irritated looking so when i add a nude in there it really does even it out make my eyes look more awake and lively and it really helps so if you're having like redness on your eyes use a nude liner it'll really help even it out and make you look less irritated i guess you know Next up, you don't have to do this. Most people are not gonna wear lashes in the situation, but I do. So I'm using some light fluffy lashes, some light little flares. They're not very heavy. They're not super, super spiky. They're just like, whoosh, like a combed up lash. And these are the Barbie ones from Cure that you can find at Marshalls and TJ Maxx, apparently. But I haven't been able to find them. I got these from Ulta when they first came out. They just launched a new Barbie collection, so there are some lashes. But apparently you can find the original ones, which are these at TJ Maxx for $3.99. And I can't find them to save my life. But I've been hunting for them. So if you find them there, they're definitely worth it. It's a really good pair of lashes, especially for that $3 price. All right, next up, I think we know where this is going. I don't wear lipstick a lot lately. It's so unfortunate. But when I leave the house and I'm wearing a mask, I'm not wearing lipstick because that lipstick gets all over my mask, even if it's matte. So I've been wearing a lot of tinted lip balms lately. This is the one I'm wearing today, which is the Greek goddess, the green goddess. <laughs> from Milani. I'm down to the nub. I've, you know, I can't screw it up any more than that. So I'm gonna have to get another one soon from Ulta, but it's just a tinted lip balm. This one turns my lips pink. This one is the Sol de Janeiro one. I just got in a boxing charm, which is more of an orange tone. Tinted lip balms get my lips a little bit of color because naturally I have zero pigments in my lips. They're just white like the rest of my face. They don't have like much color to them except in the little inner portion. So I need the color. I don't wear like Liquid lipsticks all day, like I said, when I'm going out wearing a mask, I might, if I'm gonna go wear a mask anyways, I, but I'm not gonna take it off at some point, I might line my lips. I've been using the new ColourPop Snake Collection from the Taupe Collection, little snake pattern lip liners for that all over my lips. But tinted lip balms are just so easy. You can just go boop, 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 because you're gonna put chapstick or lip balm on anyways with a little bit of color, and that's my finished face. Also, just a tip that I find makes myself feel better one of these days, so like, this is not my best look, this is not my best day, perfume. Make sure you smell nice and you're gonna feel a little bit more confident when you go out. Like, this is the Sol de Janeiro 
perfume that I finally got. You guys happy for me? Because I've been like crying over this for like a year. I just love the way it smells. So if you smell nice, you're going to feel more confident and therefore feel, feel better about it when you're on your light glam days, but you still smell glamorous. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Thank you again, Me Back, for sponsoring today's video. I really appreciate it. Go check out their toner. It is half off right now on their new arrival section on their website. And I will see you guys on the next video. Bye. Have a great day.